The stitch bird, or hee hee, is one of New Zealand's rarest birds, and we're pretty lucky that they're still around. Over a hundred years ago, they disappeared from mainland New Zealand, but now, with lots of hard work, these unique little honey eaters are being brought back from the brink. They're really, really rare, so no one's really ever even heard of them. There's only one population in the whole world that's still able to look after themselves, and that's out on Little Barrier Island. They got down to really low numbers in the late 1800s and became extinct over the whole of the North Island. Stoats coming was a big one because they nest in cavities, so it means that they're really vulnerable when they're nesting. So the birds here in the nest boxes, they're so devoted to their nest. You could give them a bit of a poke if you wanted to, so it's really easy to see why they would have become really rare with the invasion of stoats and things being oh, able so to they'll come in stay the nest. on the nest, yeah. no matter what. Yeah, so that was a big problem. And the other thing was habitat destruction. So we think that they're mainly specialists for mature forests and that they need like a really big diversity of plants and food types and things like that. A little about 19 day old hee baby. So what we're going to do is we just kind of check their bellies um, and check their armpits. Yep. Those are the main place that the mites hang out. He looks pretty good. And so if you found mites, would you actually take them off? Yeah, we have a spray that we use to um, kill the mites on the birds and try to stop them coming back. Mum and Dad both feed them about every 10 minutes or so when they're this age. And what are they feeding them? Um, they feed them mainly insects when they're chicks and also a bit of nectar and fruit as well. If you look at his, the bill, you can see all the little bristles that are growing, especially like they look like lower ah, eyelashes. Yeah, because and they those are the bristles that they have that get quite a lot bigger for t detecting movement of insects right at the last minute. The main thing we do is supplementary feeding, like what's happening right here. And that's um, it's just a mixture of raw sugar and water. It's just there to tide them over if there's not much flowering or not much fruiting and he here in quite a lot of competition with the bellbirds and also with the tuis, so the two honey eater species, so that they have somewhere to go to get some food if the bellbirds are kind of excluding them from Is the trees. Is there a watering and... hole? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the pub for the he here. <laughs> we gave some he here down to a Karori wildlife sanctuary down in Wellington. When the he here were released on Karori a couple of years ago now, it's the first time in over 100 years that they've been back on the mainland. We found out that they're actually not related to anything else. Yeah, that's and their right. Closest relative is actually the saddleback and the kokaka, which they look nothing like. That's and right. And the split was 35 million years ago. Hehe were named by early Maori because of the distinctive yellow band on the male's wings, because hehe means ray of sunshine. And having met these little birds, it's awesome to see that in protected environments like Tiriturimatangi, they're bringing back that ray of sunshine for us all to enjoy.